Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you a few things I've learned through a podcast lately. This is going to be a Christian sort of talk but I feel like it's something anyone can apply to their own life. It's going to be about idleness. This is like one of the things, um, sorry, sin that no one talks about. Um, you know, everyone talks about like adultery, do not murder, do not steal, but no one really talks about this topic, um, along with something like gluttony and not honoring the Sabbath. These are the types of like sins that are not really mentioned or not as like popular, like in quotation marks, people are aware of or talk about. Now, idleness can look different in different people's lives. And it's not necessarily, say for example, like, you know, for a stay-at-home mom, it's like more prone to it. It's also for like working mom, working parents, etc. So, um, so it doesn't just affect a certain group of people, what I'm trying to say, because that's what people's like stereotype tends to like go to. So for example, like if you're a working parent, um, and you get home from work, do you just sit down and scroll through your phone and like not play with your kids? Are you like present? Are you mindful? So it's something that everyone could struggle with, like not a certain group of people. So don't mistake this with like no rest. We're not saying like do not rest. Like you definitely need to rest. As mentioned, we do need to honor the Sabbath. Like it's one of the um, 10 commandments but it's the concept of like what you're doing is it fruitful in some way are you mindfully playing with your kids are you cooking your family a nice meal are you resting so you can gain energy to continue with the day or is it that you're you know what you're doing is it like draining your energy and hasn't done or achieved in anything so this isn't about being productive and in the grind, you know, in the hustle and everything that all the all the, the words that are being used in this day and age. So it's not about being, you know, the hustle and the grind, but being mindful of what you're doing um, is work, you know, it's God's work. When you also have free time, that's when we tend to start like comparing and start obviously you start scrolling you start comparing you start see what this person is doing and what that person is doing etc etc and so we tend to start um, through the comparison like starting get jealous and envious and you know this is what I have this is what I don't have or this is what I wish I had which obviously does no good for anyone um, so this is like what the world calls, and again, quotation marks, like people say like stay in your lane, which is basically just worry about your own self, your own life, and don't want, not like, not to worry about other people, like who cares about other people, but you know, you don't compare, you know what I'm trying to say. Now, we also need to do, to be doing these activities like while praising God and being grateful and joyful. Um, so the devil could also use busyness. So this is different from being busyness, like idleness and busy busyness are like obviously like opposite terms. So this is different from just being busy. So the devil could also use busyness as a way to take us away from God. So if we can't sin, you know, if the devil can't get us to sin, can't get us to, you know, steal or uh, commit adultery or you know all these things then he will take he will try to take us away from God that's like the alternative so he would try to take us away from God so we need to do this while like worshiping praying being joyful etc so and then like unhurried pace that this is not about like hurry 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 this is about like doing things not being lazy not being idle and while doing it, while being grateful and joyful and pray, praying and praising God. Um, yeah, so I just really wanted to share that with you guys today. That's something that I've just learned recently. And I just thought um, 
it was just really eye-opening for me hope you guys um, enjoyed it and have learned something if you have any questions you know i'll try my best i'm not the most knowledgeable but just wanted to share that as we're all on this journey learning together and hope you guys have a great day or night and i will see you next time bye